Let's get started. Um, okay. H hello, everyone. I'm today. Uh, today's topic is ship for shipdog. It's a kind of a storage for OpenStack. Okay. I'm Yuan from Alibaba and China. Um, who, who am I? Okay. I'm an um, active co contributor to to various and um, open source project such as Shipdog, Qmu, Curl, and OpenStack. And, and I'm now, I need a, I technically need the storage project um, based on Shipdog for internal use at, uh, at 3, 3w.taobao.com. Okay, this is, uh, um, this is today's um, agenda. I'll, uh, Firstly, I'll give you a Shipdog overview, and then I'll walk you through the Shipdog internals. And, and next, I'll, I'll, I'll show you the goal um, of Shipdog for an um, open stack. And, and next, I'll, I'll show you the features from the future, the roadmap of Shipdog. And, 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 and next, I'll, I'll, show, I'll show you um, how, how industry use Shipdog. Okay? Let's move on to the next slide. Uh, so, so what is Shipdog? Shipdog is a is kind of a um, distributed um, object storage in user space. We we manage disks and nodes for you. We aggregate this the, the cap um, capacity and uh, the power linearly, and we, we hide the failure of, of the hardware, and we can actually um, dynamically. Mm, grow or shrink the scale, scale out or scale in, and and then we manage your, your data. We we provide two mm, kind of re, re, redundancy mechanism and include um, replication or easier code for 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 high availability and reliability, and we we secure your data with um, the auto healing and and. Auto rebalance mechanisms. So, 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 with your data and your disk, we provide, and currently we provide many two kind of um, um, services. One is um, block storage. So, so this is um, integrated for QMU and uh, and uh, iSCSI target. Currently, this, this um, block um, block storage is. Perfectly supported by upstream, so you can just download one um, um, the source from from um, upstream, and then you can use it without um, in-house patch. And uh, another uh, another um, uh, service is RESTful container. This is for uh, similar like uh, OpenStack Swift and uh, or Amazon S3. This is a work in progress. Okay, so so the third service is for OpenStack. We currently now support an uh, OpenStack Sender and Glance, and Nova is in progress too. Okay, so this is Shieldog. Uh, then I give you this is a very high level picture about Shieldog. Um, from top, um, we we can see that we use. Uh, and Zookeeper to, to manage the node for, for Shipdog. And, and, and Zookeeper provides us a, an order of message queue. This is ver, very important for Shipdog. And, 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 and we consist of two components. One is Shipdog daemon that, that manages your digs. Another is a, a queued dog. This is a, um, currently, um, this is a, um, admin tool and you can see that we, we don't have um, meta servers, so, so we don't have a, a single point of failure. And so, so, so on the bottom, you can see that we, we, we support um, heterogeneous disks, and we assign weight to, the, to these disks for better rebalance. And so, so what happened when, I, uh, when the disk um, um, failed? So you can, you can see that the, the red box with cross. This means a, a one disk failed, 
and while, while, while ship like is running, we, we just, the ship like daemon will um, unplug it and, and automatically, and, and uh, then we will recover the, the data. Okay, and, and we, for data placement, we use a consistent hash, consistent hash. So actually, we have two kind of uh, consistent, uh, oh sorry, oops. We have two, uh, two kind of uh, um, hash run. One is, uh, is for, for a global one, that, that manage, we, put, we put all the disks, uh, all the ship daemon on, the, uh, on that run, and the, so the data can, can, can scatter gather um, uh, throughout the, the run. And then we have a, a private zone for, for disks. And every node has a private zone for disks. So, 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 so um, an error um, happened in, in, in the local disk. We, we just recover the, 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 the data in, in, in the in disks and locally without in interrupting the in other nodes. Yeah. This is how we handle the failure. Okay, it's, so so why we should use uh, Sheepdog? Okay, you know um, uh, you know uh, this is kind of a um, personal view, but I think you 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 should uh, try to consider it when you uh, want to try um, some storage for your system. Okay, and uh, the biggest. Uh, um, uh, one one point is uh, we we have a minimum assumption about an underlying kernel and uh, and file system. Okay, and any file system that support an extended attribute we can use uh, with Shipdoc. So 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 currently an ext4 and uh, and xfs. Can can run with Shipdog without any problem on any distribution, like an an CentOS or Debian. Yeah. Okay. And Shipdog is is full is full feature uh, 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 full features. We support snapshot and clone and and cluster wide snapshot and and, and for simple version. And then we support a user defined um, replication. Uh, like um, uh, user defined replication on the and and an VDI basis, and we also do uh, an automatic node and disk and management, and Shipdog is very easy to set up with uh, thousands of year, uh, thousands of nodes, and we a single uh, an, a single daemon can manage unlimited disks um, in one node. And we 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 manage the disks like like read zero. And 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 for now we support uh, six thousand nodes in in a s single cluster. And I think the the most beautiful thing for Shipdog is it's quite small. It has only uh, thirty thirty thousand thousand nines. Of C code, it's very clean and it's kind of fast and a very small memory. We we use uh, about uh, 50 megabytes, even when the node is very busy with I/O or or request. So so all the, all all the resources you you, you can um, you, you you can you can um, give the, these resources um, to the um, Virtual machine, yeah, okay. Okay, then I walk you through the Shipdog uh, internals. So this is a, a Shipdog in a nutshell. We can see that we provide two volumes, two volumes, and we, we actually uh, connect these two volumes with one Shipdog daemon. And we can see that in, in the gateway, we we have a shared persistent and cache. You can see that we, you can see that the, the red block we shared it uh, with two volumes 
for 2, two, two, two VM. And, uh, and you can see that they, probably these two VMs are from the same base. They are probably, they're, they're from the same base. So, so we can share um, many data, like um, um, kernel and, and, and library. So, yeah, so, so you can save space in the cache. And uh, so, mm -hmm. and, and when, when the request uh, goes through the gateway, we, the gateway will route the, the request to the store. And the, the request is actually um, replicated or erased to, to those nodes. So, so, so on the right, um, on the store, we, we, you can see that we, we have a general device. This, this is kind of for uh, recovery, and, and it can um, actually um, boost your performance if you have a um, dedicated disk for general device. Okay, and so, so I'll talk about more about shift out volume. Shift out volume is kind of a simple vein volume. We, um, we, we use a um, copy and write um, technique everywhere, sorry, everywhere, and we support live snapshot and offline snapshot. We, we even support uh, store your, uh, your memory into the um, into the cluster uh, into the store like you 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 shut down uh, you you like your um, uh, how to say like like, like you um, uh, shut down your um, nap tab and you you can resume it from an um, edit time uh, yeah something like that and and we support an um, incremental um, backup. And actually, uh, the time for, for taking snapshot is very short. We, we just uh, create four megabyte um, idle data for, for, um, for snapshot and, and operation. And, and why, so, um, why ShipDog is, is so small and we support so many features? It, um, probably, it, it was our uh, strategy is push uh, as many um, as possible or um, called in, uh, um, into client. So, so that result in a simple and a fast code. We only have four um, app code for store, for, for shipdog, like store, read, write, create, remove. And so we have um, many code in, in Qmu and other Client, oh, okay. So, so this is a gateway. This is uh, how gateway works for Shipdog. Mm. When the request, uh, when when the request goes through the, the uh, request engine, that, that we call it a gateway. It, uh, it, it, the gateway is mainly doing route and and and, and retry. So we have a request queue, and every request will, will be put on a queue. And then we have a node run. It's a table uh, that, that manages, that has a, all the uh, node information. So, 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 so we can do P2P connect to, to that node for, for data um, transportation. And, and you can see that we have an, uh, two kind of cache. One is a socket cache for, for better performance, and, and one is a um, cache for, for data that, that, you, that, that are pretty much uh, similar to page cache like in kernel. But, uh, but this is a persistent cache. So, so it can, 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 um, can, can, um, can, can take away um, power failure. Okay, so, 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 so we have, uh, we provide a, a strong consistency for, for write. You, you can see that we, if we, uh, for request, we, we will have three requests for that, re for that write request. And if one request to, to node is, uh, is, 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 
is has some something wrong, and so we will we will retry and until until all the six uh, all the requests succeed, then we will we will return this request to the to um, to the client. So yeah, you you can see that the red block uh, red uh, red blocks. It means uh, the the whole disk, uh, all, all the disks in this load are broken, and then this ship will degrade it to a gateway only node. That that means uh, it it only will route the request and never do the um, I/O operation. Okay, this is uh, internal. Um, uh, um, data engine. So, so th 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 this is a store. It's uh, compared to compared to gateway. It, it's kind of a very uh, simple one. It, it only has a general device and a, and a disk manager. Disk manager doing something like um, and it it uses not uh, it uses um, disk RAM to manage the disks. So so we. We we assign uh, different di um, different weights to to the disks, and then so 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 what happened when when one when one disk um, get failed? So uh, the first step is we we will fake the request to the gateway and ask the gateway to 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 retry. So so we can then and um, actually unplug that that disk that disk and. And start local data rebalance. Okay, this is a, a redundancy. Uh, how we support a different uh, redundancy scheme. So, so on the left is uh, for um, replication. You, you can see that for for one data write, we we actually uh, replicate it is in three copy and uh, it is run. It will be routed to three nodes and store there. But for Ethereum code, we actually slice slice the data with smaller chunks. You can, you can see that this is a, a demonstration with four to two. That means uh, four data strips and two parity strips. So so that can can deal with uh, concurrent two node failure. Sorry. Uh, so. So actually, we you can see that we we only use uh, two um, extra two more uh, two more uh, parity data, so we can achieve the same redundancy um, and availability. We uh, this is how we uh, deal with Ethereum code and. Well, I, I have some um, sample um, test about uh, how 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 you really can um, um, perform in a six node um, cluster. Mm. The advantages for uh, you really code over and for replication is it, it use um, far less storage and overhead. But there are some rumors. They they said the the storage, uh, the people when when people use uh, your code, they, they it can just be used for cold data and for slow um, because of a uh, slow operation. But but in but your code in Shipdog is kind of um, um, break the the rumors. We 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 gain a better read write performance and we can support a random read write. So so. So that means we can um, actually run VM um, images, but there is a um, disadvantage for you record over replication. We we generate more traffic for recovery, and 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 for example, with two to two scheme and um, compared with three four copies for a given data set, we we actually generate two times data. For recovery, but I think this is a trade-off. If you if you are um, 
let's concern with your um, data uh, net, network uh, network uh, overhead. You, I think I will, I will, I will um, recommend you use Eureka uh, Cody because of, because it, it saves um, much space. Okay, and um, the next part is how we handle recovery. Uh, recovery in Shipdog means two two things. Um, one thing is uh, redundancy repair. When when some when some copy get get lost, we we will try to repair the copy. And uh, another thing is um, for data rebalance. So 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 when we add a, a node in, we we need to rebalance the data to 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 that node, and then. Then, then, then the I/O will be rebalanced too. So, 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 so this picture um, um, demonstrates a, a very similar s scenario. We can see that uh, because of a, a node join in, the some 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 node will uh, some object will migrate from one node to another node. That you uh, using a P2P con connection. And if some data get lost, probably the the disk for that data is uh, is broken. Then we we will we, we will recover uh, that data from from other node or or rebuild from um, other node. Um, actually, for uh, recovery is uh, the most uh, difficult part in in Shipdog. It's kind of uh, more. Um, complicated than than the picture says. Um, we have a we we mainly have two queues. Uh, besides a request queue, we have a, a sleep queue. When the sleep queue is used for for the request, that when when the object is lost, we we have to sleep on the queue, and after the uh, the object is recovered. Then we we can re requeue the request into the request queue and start the request on that um, last um, object. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll talk more about um, recovery. Uh, recovery in Shipdog is kind of a called an e eager recovery. That means when when whenever one node is joined or leave the Cluster, we will do the re recovery immediately, and uh, it's probably a trade-off. You, you know, um, most uh, failures in the cluster are transient failures. That means uh, when the node um, um, get out because of um, bad, um, bad network connection, then he he will come back in a very short time. So, so for this problem, actually we. I think we need more work on. The, um, we need more work to handle, handle this problem. But we actually provide one um, option to handle 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 handle, um, handle, handle um, transit failure. We allow user to stop stop uh, stop the automatic recovery and uh, do manual recovery temporarily. So 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 actually we have two events in Shipdog. One event is a disk event that that disk get um, plugged in or unplug it out, and another event is a node event when we join join one node, or when we join uh, two node, or, or some node get get broken and 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 leave the cluster. So we we actually use the same um, algorithm for for to handle the the two two event. Uh, and well, so so probably we will face uh, the situation that we have um, many events um, happen um, at the same time. This is kind of tricky, you know. Uh, some 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 things in in that node get broken, and some some node um, join in, and some node some node um, and leave the cluster, and at the same time. So so how we handle it? It. it Mm, for our strategy, we the the subsequent event will will supersede the 
previous one. So this is our cur uh, our current uh, strategy to handle to handle um, multiple event. Okay, all this uh, recovery handling is transparent transparently to the client. So so this means if if some some node uh, leave the cluster, the the client like VM doesn't doesn't need to know it. He can. The, the VM will run it without problem, but, but the, um, the actual um, the performance might be damaged or degraded a little bit until the recovery get finished. And okay, so so we have some um, some some mechanism to to um, accelerate the performance when when the recovery happens uh, when they. Uh, an object is in place. We, we, we will actually serve that the uh, request uh, directly. Okay, this is kind of a, a, a feature from Shipdog. We support cluster-wide snapshot. Uh, this is uh, very useful for when you want to back up a small cluster and to another storage. This is called a farm. In Shipdog, and uh, we we do some some more um, and data de deduplication for 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 data and um, for, for a backup data. And um, from from the test, we we found that with even with a very simple uh, and hash hash based uh, deduplication um, algorithm, we we can get up to 50% 50, uh, 50 of an, an DDP ratio. But, but com compression um, doesn't help be because, it in, because uh, with a um, um, virtual machine, um, and not, um, the data are kind of um, random data, and so compression doesn't help save the space. Yeah, currently we did a dedicated backup storage for to to store to store th this data, but we are we are thinking of uh, 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 on Shipdog. This means we want to um, backup uh, use uh, Shipdog as a backup storage, but but this is uh, uh, in our to do list. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, so so this is uh, how how is related to um, OpenStack. Uh, currently, in OpenStack, we have two uh, four kinds of storages. One is um, block storage, and um, that's Cinder. And we 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 actually uh, support Cinder since day one. And another storage is called Glance. It's for an image storage. We support, uh, we, we, we add support um, at a Havana version. And another storage is, is called Lova. It's for an um, ephemeral storage. We, we didn't start it yet. So, so this is not um, supported by Shilag for now. And, and, and another storage is uh, Swift. It, it's, it's, called, it's for an object storage. And, and actually, we are working on it. We have um, we are working on um, object storage to provide a container um, abstraction for for user to 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 store data like Swift. This is a work in progress, and our final goal, yeah, our final goal is provide is is provide a an unified storage for 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 OpenStack. The benefit for a, a unified storage, I think, um, in my opinion, is we can use um, copy and write ev um, e anywhere in the um, in the in, in, in the cluster for 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 OpenStack. You know, we we have uh, probably we have a uh, lot of um, images shared, uh, many um, duplicated data, or or we might have some some other data. Um, some some user data share share storages or share 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 the, the same content. So so probably we can use uh, 
of Pyong Drive and anywhere, and we, we, we can do some, some basic uh, um, data to dupe, um, you, you know, with more resources in the global uh, um, namespace, we can, we can use uh, some, uh, some, some mechanism to, to dedupe the, the data. But this is just um, my opinion. I'm not sure if, if we can achieve it. Okay, the, the features from the, the future. Well, uh, currently we are doing, doing two things. Uh, one is, uh, as, I, as I mentioned, is container um, abstraction. This is a restful um, interface and we, we plan to be Swift, uh, Swift API compatible, and, and it, it, it probably will come in soon. And, um, and at um, January, January next year. And another feature is hypervolume. We, we plan to support, uh, uh, well, 256 PB volume. This is kind of will be finished uh, in the next week. We support a hyper volume. Um, currently, we we have a limit at four four terabyte for for volume. And the next feature in the future is a geo uh, re, uh, replication. And this is not started yet. And uh, and shipdog on shipdog, as I mentioned. And another problem is that in the cluster. We, we found that we, we have a problem. Sometimes uh, the, the process, the, 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 the disk might be broken or the firmware is broken, but, but the, process, the, the process is hung there with this state, in, with in, in, in ruptable state. So probably we will we'll, um, create a, a software to, to, to deal with this um, problem in the massive deployment. Okay, I'll sh um, at last I'll show you how industry use Shipdog. The first of all, we uh, this is how Taobao and NTT use Shipdog. Uh, on the left, we we actually running a a mix um, um, we mix VM and storage in the same cluster. This is for um, test and dev and development. And, uh, and in the middle, we can see uh, this is an ongoing project. We, we, we will support uh, uh, thousands of, um, we will run ship like on thousands of uh, ARM nodes to, to store for cold data storage at Taobao. And the last one is how, how NTT use ShipDoc. They, they use ShipDoc via a, a iSCSI uh, uh, storage. They provide an, an, a, a long device pool for, for iSCSI. Okay. We, we actually have some minor users in, um, in the world. Um, like, like Excellent System is a, an Italian company, and Delaware where steady then our state university, they, they have been running uh, and shipped for, for several months with uh, 16 and terabyte data. Yeah, some, are, some other company in China and, in, and, uh, and Japan. Yeah. Well, so is there any question? I'm, I'm finished with, with the talk. Okay, anyone has any questions? Oh, okay, oh, thank you. <laughs>